What is going on guys, Sandelzy here, welcome back to another episode of Jets Franchise. This week we're taking on the 1-0 New York Giants, so we technically stay home, but we're going to be away this game. Um, I did make a big trade last uh, after last episode, I kind of did it off cam, but did a couple trades and I'll show you guys those right now quick. Alright, here's the trade, we uh, got Aiden Hutchinson. And we traded for Martin Gallery, Rich James, and Mike Jacobs. So, I feel like I gave up a lot of good value for him. Uh, granted, he's only an 86. We gave up two 80s and a 70. So, I feel like that's pretty fair. They get coverage in middle linebacker and safety. And then we also ended up trading uh, Nagakwe for a second rounder to him as well. And then we ended up trading Joey Olsen to the... Uh, Buffalo Bills for one of their second round picks as well. So those are the trades that we made. Um, we did sign. Let's see here. We signed Travis Etienne. He was on free agency. So I figured a good backup. Um, so he'll be the backup over Quinn and Merriweather. Uh, but great. If anything happens to Brees Hall, we should be okay with running back, even with just Merriweather back there. But, uh, ETN's a little bit better of an upgrade. Uh, we re-signed Jalen Hurts. I think he's up to like a 73 now. So, pretty good backup quarterback for us. Um, we signed Hufanga as a backup strong safety. Uh, Quandre Diggs, I didn't really need him, but I saw him on free agency, so I picked him up. And then Diablo, um, I actually just ended up releasing him because we don't... We're all right with middle linebacker right now until the draft, I feel like. But take a look at the... Take a look at the team now. So this is what our offense is looking like. Pretty solid. Yeah, 83 overall ETN is... Our free agency is kind of crazy. And then Jalen Hurts, yeah, 73 overall. So not bad there, but I figure we, we're good in tight ends. I mean, anything happens to Cooper Redman. We got his replacement. And then, of course, Jamie Goblin back there as well. And then the defense. I was debating on trading Rashawn Barnett. Don't know if I'm really going to do that. Move Aiden Hutchinson up to right outside. That way Cody Cutler can start right end. And then moving Dave Tate to middle linebacker. But I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts on that, but that's kind of where I was sitting with it. Just because Rashawn Burnett, he hasn't really been consistent. I mean, when he's on the field, he's good, but his whole season has been like a 50-50 playing and then 50-50 injury. So, you guys let me know your thoughts. Let me know what we should do. Uh, but, yeah, so Juan McChild is going to be the starting strong safety now. Of course, Hufanga back there. As the relief man. Yeah. Like I said, I really didn't need Quandre Diggs. But. So we got Carlisle and then Raekwon Fox. So he's going to be a third string free safety. But worst comes to worst, maybe we just throw Fox or Diggs at middle linebacker. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But. Yeah. We'll uh, get into training. Weekly strategy here. Sean Watson is going to be their quarterback. Interesting. Uh, Xavier McKinney. It's a man we got to look out for on defense. We're just going to stick with throwing it short. It works for me. And, yeah, those guys look all right to me. And no injuries on offense, always a plus. And defense looking good as well. All right, let's uh, hop into this game. All right, here we are in MetLife. Put the Giants in the red unis today. I like how those look. 
Belton going to take a knee. And Deshaun Watson company coming out. Three hundred one passing yards last week, two touchdowns, no interceptions for him. <laughs> My cat is being so annoying right now. I don't know if you guys can hear, but if you can, sorry. Saquon last week, twenty-one for ninety-two and a touchdown. Not a bad start to the year for him. He picks up four on that first run of the day. Um, I did change the sliders too. I did make it a little bit more uh, unfair for us. Pretty much put a lot of our catching down and then a lot of the computer's catching up, and that was my guy. Totally bit on the run, but Khalil Carlisle coming in, laying a big hit on Ridley. Kelvin Ridley, let's take a look at this offense. What's going on in the other part of New Jersey here? <clears throat> All right, so Deshaun Watson, starting quarterback, Desmond Ritter, their backup. Uh, Saquon Barkley and Marcus Bellin are going to be the running backs today. Rookie. Interesting. Ben Mason, the fullback. Miles McLeod. Kadarius Toney, still in New York in this franchise series. Kelvin Ridley. Uh, Gavin DiNapoli. They're going to be their wideouts. So, kind of a young crew. Besides Kelvin Ridley and Kadarius Toney, but still, they're pretty young. Six and nine years in the league. Uh, tight ends, they got Dawson Knox, Sean Clark. And Dakota Cooper. Starting offensive line is going to be Andrew Thomas at the left. Uh, left tackle position. David Edwards at the left guard. Center is going to be Christian Wendell. Uh, Stevie Cash could be right guard. And Evan Neal, of course, going to be their starting right tackle. Uh, Bryson Allen is going to be the rookie... Middle linebacker that we got here, so. And Kadarius Tony just kind of mosses us. We just didn't even play the ball. And he's going to bring that one in for a touchdown. The Giants go up by seven here. On their opening drive. Only two minutes in. Darrell Winslow going to take this one. He's going to have space. Not a whole lot, up to the 30. <laughs> it's Chris Church and company coming out. Let's see what he can do today. Last week, 251, four touchdowns and one interception. Start off again, Brees Hall run here. And we'll take a look at this defense. Brees Hall only going to get a game of two. Last week, 20 for 114, no touchdowns. And we'll quickly, quickly take a look at this Giants defense here. Starting left end, Dexter Lawrence. Right on it's going to be Malik Brooks. Uh, Neil Farrell Jr. And Alex Sherwood are going to be up the middle. Uh, left outside linebacker Greg Snell. Channing Tindall. And Kenya Hodgins. Hodgins. Going to be the middle linebackers. Kayvon, Dib Kayvon Thibodeau. It's going to be the right outside linebacker there. Shaq Slate. Eric Bailey. Michael Ujimudier is going to be the corners there. Free safety is going to be Xavier McKinney. And Terrell Burgess is going to be the starting strong safety. I was going to say right safety. It's 
Brees Hall going to get a nice little gain of 14 there on the read option. Finally looked to pass. That was not who I thought I was throwing it to. Tried to hit uh, Justin Jefferson. I thought he was X, but I forgot Brees Hall was on the outside there. Big goof up on my part. Almost a perfect ball to Justin Jefferson. Ball is incomplete. It's going to be third and ten. And hit as we threw fourth and ten. James Bush coming out to punt this ball away. Put some backspin on it. It's still going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Almost pin him at the one. Thought it switched me to Gilmore there. Just gonna lay a big hit on him. Sean Watson, four for four. 71 already. Of course, with uh, James Bush out of here, we got. Should have Matt Fields and Devin Lloyd as the starting. Middle linebackers, not sure where Matt Fields is. Well, a lot of you guys, uh, Aiden Hutchinson was not the guy I was looking to trade for. I was going to make a trade for Pat Sertan, but I don't know. After this last season and then just last week even, Quinn Thompson has really stepped up in the corner role. And we, you know, we got a great slot corner with Dorian Gilmore. And I don't really want to ruin the chemistry with the big three back there. So I feel like bringing in Pats from Tannen would help. But at the same time, it would kind of affect our defense quite a bit. Because <clears throat> that would imply us either giving up sauce or... Sean Watson taking off. Gain a gain of five. Hit hard by Bryson Allen going down. Um, but yeah, that, that would imply us either giving up sauce or they're going to fake it. Overshot his target. Jesus. Caught me off guard. Let's try that again. Uh, trying, that would imply me either giving up sauce Gardner or um, Quinton Thompson. And... Leaving Dorian Gilmore. If I could have got him for like, you know, Dorian Gilmore and a couple other pieces, maybe, and just move Quinn and Thompson into the slot, but still, he was top two pick, so. Don't really want to give him up for really anything but a top, you know, top 10 pick, you know? And then same thing if we end up trading like Rashawn Barnett, like you guys know he was top five as well. If not, I think he might have gone number one. I don't quite remember. I know him and Quinn and Thompson were you know, our first couple picks in the first couple seasons, so... Kind of got... A lot of bonding time with us, and I you know, wouldn't really want to see either one of them go, but 
it benefits the franchise, it might just happen later on. That one's going to be rough in the past. That's going to set us up at the 8. First and goal now. Let's try and score on this drive here. We'll hit Darrell Winslow. He breaks away off that streak. We're going to tie the game up 7-7. Seven, seven. Almost missed it. Sean Watson looking to take off again. Slides for another gain of four. Saquon getting take, taken down after a gain of two. Let's go bring up third and four. We go underneath to Dawson Knox. Take him down at the 40. We're gonna pick up the first. Gain of nine for him on that one. I knew he was going to say Quan. That one's fumbled. Carl or Dorian Gilmore diving on that to pick it up. I don't really like RPO plays, to be honest with you. Because like, if you don't get the ball out quick enough, it's illegal man downfield. Usually they're all over it. If you go with the run. So it's like, it doesn't really make sense. And I should have hit Y there. Gonna bring up third and 12. It's gonna be the end of the first quarter. Score side 7-7. Seven, seven. Pretty much have us doubled in both passing and rushing yards. But thankfully the forced fumble on the last drive helped us out a bit. So we'll hit Cooper Redman over the middle. He's going to have space. Just outside the red zone at the 22. Big catch and run from Cooper Redman there. Gonna have space again. Just kidding. Kayvon Thibodeau gonna knock that ball out. Put Redmond on a streak here. He's gonna catch it and take it down at the two. Go hurry up. Try and get him on a screen. It's gonna be wide open. He dives. In for the touchdown. Cooper Redmond. Pretty sure it's his first one so far this year. There you go up by a touchdown. Can't remember if I changed Aiden Hutchinson's number or not. We'll have to find out. Let's get a look. Last drive. And they showed the close up of him, but it cut right as he was turning. But with Jalen Hurts. Excuse me. Yeah, with Jalen Hurts, I uh, switched him to number two. Just because, of course, we have Sauce Gardner as number one. And Hurts wore two in college, so that's what we went with. Of course, we don't have Kari Parker anymore. Uh, it looks like Aiden Hutchinson is 97, so we're good there. That pass good to McLeod. Good for the first. Devin Lloyd taking him down. Back of his ankles there. Possible run left with Saquon. Not even Saquon. He's not even in. If I had known that, I would have pass committed. Still not in, I don't know what's going on with him. Let's 
Bryson Allen, first one there. Can't bring him down. Khalil Carlisle in there to finish him off. Bryson Allen avoiding his zone. Almost got the sack on Deshaun Watson there. That ball comes out. Juan Machado with the big hit. Johnny Mann dives on it, gets the fumble recovery. Yeah, Juan Machado stopping him full stride. Just turns around, lays a big hit on him. So we need that's a momentum shifter right there. Saquon. Or not Saquon, Brees Hall. Couldn't turn it up enough. So we'll go underneath to Corey Scott. He's going to have a first down up across the 40 to the 41. Not going to lie, I thought that was Cooper Redman. Coop was ahead of us, though. This one's to Cooper Redman. Tried to chuck Thibodeau, but... Don't know why Brees Hall went out of bounds and asked for the ball. A little interesting. I would say. <laughs> this ball to Justin Jefferson. Perfect. Just over the linebacker's head. Good for another first up across the 30 to the 26. Go jump ball for Jefferson. Just kidding. Should have high pointed it to be honest with you. Maybe we'll give him another shot here. Oh just kidding, I don't know who's over there. But we'll give it to Jefferson over the middle anyways. Into the red zone at the 12. Got about five minutes left here in the first half. Yeah, I tried to just really force that one in there. Burgess. With the interception. Let's take another look at it. I didn't really see anything get open. Maybe I missed something. Maybe Darrell Winslow on the left. My initial look was Cooper Redman. Then saw... Is that Thibodeau? Yeah. Saw Thibodeau move back across the middle. I like the Jefferson look. Right here we had quite a bit of space and that's when I started to throw it. Yeah, maybe we hit Darrell Winslow right there. Give him like a nice little touch pass inside. Yeah, Burgess just perfect position. Read us the whole way. We're going to run commit here, I think. Belting, going to get a gain of four. Machado on another, another forced fumble there. I just can get a good angle on him. It's Belting going to pick up the first. Bellin. Another run, gain of three. Devin Lloyd in there for the stop. You get the first. Yeah, 
that pass to Gadarius Tony. Good for the first. Sauce Gardner there takes him down right away. Dallas Knowles was trying to kill him from behind. Two minutes left here in the first half. Kind of hoping New England wins against Miami. Put them both one and one on the year. Juan Machado almost got the pick in front of Dawson Knox. He's kind of stopped instead of kept running. If he would have kept running, we might have. Might have gotten the pick, might have given up a touchdown, so. Deshaun Watson throws that one away again. Yeah, another throw away for Watson. Brings up third and ten from the twelve. Minute and a half left. This one's a screen. I wasn't paying attention. I was on Derek Singley on the slot receiver on the right. So bring up fourth and fourteen, and they're gonna take the field goal to go down by four. That one is good. 14-10. Jets on top. We got 40 seconds left. We can at least try and go down. Kick a field goal. Make it another 7 point game. Darrell Winslow. Taking down at 20. Should have just taken a knee there I think. Jefferson, he's going to have a big gain up to the 40. We'll call a timeout. Oh, we're going to be looking at the right side for Johnson there. We'll give him a shot. Johnson downfield. Pass broken up. Haven't seen a lot of them so far this year. Granted, it's only week two, but still. That one to Cooper Redman, bad throw. Johnson was wide on the right side. Probably should have hit him right there. Sling this one for him. Johnson with the catch at the five. Push out of bounds at the four. Penalty on the play. It's going to be roughing the passer. You know what? We'll decline it. We'll be nice. Mostly because I want that to count as a catch. I don't know if accepting it. Rules out the catch or not. Darrell Winslow. His second touchdown today. We just want a field goal, man. Instead, we got a huge play to John Johnson. Set us up real good for a touchdown and we'll take it. Not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Giants gotta take a knee there. Bryce and Allen. Trips up Belton. That will bring us into halftime. The Jets up by 11. But we got them beating passing now. Got to do a little bit more rushing in the second half, I think. So I think we'll do a run inside. And then we'll defend... Defend the medium pass. 
we even get the ball back in the second half. Maybe I'll switch it so we get the ball to start the game and they get the ball in the second half. Just because it's... I don't know, I feel like we've just been crushing, crushing a lot of the teams that we've been playing. And that one. Strip sack. Dexter Lawrence with the pickup. He's going to bring him for a touchdown. They're going to go for two here. Make it a three point game. Had to cover two routes there. If he wasn't throwing it there, he was going to throw it to Dawson Knox. Darrell Winslow picks this one up at the one. It's only gonna get back to the 14. All right, let's uh try this again. Let's try not to get sacked. Or throw a pick six. You know, both would be viable op options to avoid. When John Johnson hit hard and can't come down with it. Third and ten, not really a place I want to run the ball, but freaking works, don't it? Don't hurry up here. JJ could have game down with that. Would have been huge. Not really in the sense that it would have been a huge gain or anything, but it would have been a nice little highlight reel. I definitely should have hit Cooper Redman on that one too. I saw him as I was lining up to chuck it deep. This one of Johnson snakes it in on the sideline. Might have been the best trade that we made all season. Besides Justin Jefferson, but. Or like all franchise, not all season, because we got him last year, but. That throw to Redmond a little bit out, out of his range. But yeah, Johnson is. I feel like a nice little snag from Philly. We're going to line up deep for him again here. Can't come down with it. Pass broken up. Let's hit Brees Hall. He's going to get a couple. Gain of six. Make this a six point, six point game here. Perfect, Parker Bradford. Good from 53. Let's see what this Giants offense has for us. Darius Tony already six for 103 and a touchdown. Still got a lot of football left to play. That one underneath to Dawson Knox hit hard by Bryson Allen. Juan Machado can't come down with it. I did change it to so that our picks are less likely, so. If I would have left it, it might have been a pick. This one tipped up, and Juan Machado gets redemption, and he picks this one off. And he 
can't take it to the house. Tate pushed out of bounds at the 28. And Christian Wendell injured for the Giants. Surprised that wasn't initially picked by Cleo Carlisle. At least tipped up in the air and Child just got a second chance for a pick there. Probably should have just dumped that one off to Brees to be honest with you. Gonna step up. Please go down. Thank you. Oh goodness, Chris Church. Picks up the first, taken down at the 14. So this one up for JJ, I think. He's gonna get it. And he's a gritty on. <laughs> there you go for two. Can't get it. Makes it a 12 point game. And the Giants offense coming back out. Still no Saquon. They're going to run commit here. Good thing we did. Taken down. Lost a two. Aiden Hutchinson. First one there. Takes him down at the line of scrimmage. I was just going to say we haven't seen a lot of him today. That one thrown pretty much out of bounds. Receiver tried to make the effort. But Juan Machado was there, pushed him out. And Johnson on the return. Not a whole lot, taken down at the 39. Justin Jefferson, 6 for 104 and a touchdown today. Oh, it was the zone. Thought they were running man for a second. Could try and get it out quick to draw Winslow. My eyes didn't go anywhere else but the left side of the field there. Devin Lloyd making the diving stop. Still haven't seen Matt Fields. Maybe he just forgot to get on the plane. Just kidding, there is no plane. Because we're playing at home. The cloud. Heaven. Probably a career day today. He's pretty much getting every freaking pass. Belton stops short of the first, third and one. Of course, they're going to pick it up. Take it down at the one. They'll run commit here. If they pass, they can have the touchdown, I guess. They're going to pass. They can have the touchdown, I guess. Dawson Knox. Gonna make it a five point game. Even if we don't get a touchdown, a field goal and make it eight, 
So they pretty much have to score a touchdown and get the two point conversion. Sorrell Winslow with a lot of space. Up across the 30, taking down at the 32. Absolutely need to start running it more. He's got seven rushes. It's not horrible. Only for 32 yards, though. Which is horrible. Just kidding. 30. <laughs> Lost a two on that one. Third and ten. You're looking for Cooper Redmond or Darrell Winslow here. And Redman, it is to stretch it out right. Picks up the first. Might have Justin Jefferson here. Don't know if we do, but we'll take a shot. Tipped by Xavier McKinney, I think. Don't know who else is back there with him. This one, Johnson wide open on the side. It's gonna toe tap out of bounds. It's gonna bring us to the end of the third. Jets up by five. You gotta speed by like 20 yards rushing, so. Light tap. All better stats than them. Besides turnovers, they got to speed. Oh, well, maybe not. So we got the force fumbles. They also have a force fumble. I'm an idiot. Brees Hall taken down pretty much right away. Loss of two. We'll run it back. This time we'll go opposite side. Breeze going to get eight on that one. Breaks up third and four. Had to do math in my head. Breeze Hall wide open. Passing touchdown. Go for two here. It's going to make it a 13 point game. Giants are going to have just under nine and a half minutes left. They're going to head the ball with. With just under nine and a half. That's good for four. Tony Darius Tony, big catch. Just around the 45. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. A shotgun snap for Watson. Oh my god, we missed the tackle. McLeod. And just going full steam ahead. Hanging down at the seven. Yeah, he missed a hit with Machado there. And Quentin Thompson and Sauce Gardner both with the misses. 
Finally taken down by Cleo Carlisle. I saw that one coming. Loss of one. To set him up at the five. Kelvin Ridley stopped at the one. I don't even know who was in coverage there, but Ufanga. Of course it was. To make it a six point game. As long as we score here, should be chilling. Even a field goal. Put us up by nine. Take the knee. Don't even run that out. I don't even know why you're returning. <laughs> He's fast, but I feel like Johnson's just a better option back there. Speak of the devil. Wide open on the sideline. John Johnson. To try and kill some clock here. Before he takes it in, 6.15 left. Nice 75 yarder. Strike of 75 yards and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it. Brees Hall wide open on the right side. That's going to make it a 14 point game. 46-32, Jets on top. 6.15 left to play in this one. Fun fact, the day you guys are watching this, Friday, the 24th, it's the day I'm actually recording this. The first time in a long time that I'm doing same day video slash upload. So you're welcome. <laughs> Sauce Gardner with a pick six. That's going to seal the deal. Going up by 21 now. That's what we like to see, boys. Not sure how many videos I'm going to... make today I do want to try and get three but I also want to play other games if I'm being honest no man's at that point where I'm just kind of getting bored with it but I still like doing the franchise and making the videos for you guys so kind of just playing up with it just kind of why we're making like those bigger trades now you know for Jefferson Aiden Hudson Ball comes out. Cleo Carlisle dives on it. Finally gets us taken down. Yeah. I don't know. Cause, like those trades I would have never done. You know, our first couple. First couple seasons obviously. Because I didn't do it. But you know, they're just kind of like. Somewhat unrealistic trades. That I don't think. The Vikings or the Lions would do. But, no, I feel like at the end of the day, we did give him enough value in return to where you know, it did kind of make sense for them to accept it. And the ball came out. I wasn't paying attention. They're going to pick it back up. He's going to take it to the house. Uh, 
Okay, he was down. Thank God. Not that it matters, but... The reputation I'm trying to keep here. Playing Devin Lloyd on a freaking wide receiver is not helping. Miles McLeod. Nice tutty. Just burn the middle linebacker there. Thought I saw that one coming. As soon as the ball was snapped. Yeah, for a man, 24 franchise, the teams that I've been debating, you know, I, I do want to do a bad team, but I don't want to do, like, the Texans, because, you know, everybody's going to be doing the Texans, so, um, I don't know, I feel like, it depends on what Aaron Rodgers does, I was debating the Green Bay Packers, even if he stays, maybe we just go Green Bay and rock one year with Rodgers and see what happens. But um, otherwise, I was debating the Broncos because they're still not good, but they do have a really good team. I feel like that's just not going to make you know the franchise franchise fun, but it'd be fun for me because it's my favorite team. Um, I could do the Chicago Bears. Don't really want to do the Lions because the Lions are decent. You know, they're not not horrible, but obviously not where they're going to be playing in the playoffs anytime soon. Well, maybe soon. Maybe like the next year or two, but I don't know. Like even this year, I didn't really want to do the Jets, but they're still like, still were a bad team. To where it, at the time it made sense, but yeah, after how Sauce actually did in his rookie campaign, they're definitely an elite team. They just need a good quarterback and they're chilling. Quarterback and tight end. Which obviously we found that out in this franchise, and here we are winning a Super Bowl. Actually, I think I got a team in mind. I gotta tell you guys, I do want to keep it a secret. Nice catch. Out of bounds, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Third and ten. But yeah, those are kind of the top teams that I've been looking at wanting to do. They're just... Kind of depends on what happens in the offseason of the draft and everything like that, so... We'll see. You guys will find out the day of Madden release, I'm sure. Good coverage by everybody in the secondary and Devin Lloyd. Wow, this turnover? Okay. Didn't even realize it was fourth down. I thought it was still third. Reese Hall taken down from behind by Brooks. Everybody has a two minute warning. Act. <laughs> Brings up third and 25 now. And the pressure was just right there. Fourth and 25 will punt this ball again. Put them backspin on it. Hopefully, pin them. Uh, probably should have. Not put backspin on it. <laughs> Bryce and Allen laid a big hit.
Don't really know what happened there, but Sean Watson rushes for eight. There he is, Tony coming back, tracking the ball. Getting a big play for the first. So underneath the uh, Belton. Short of the first, second, and two. Again to Belton. Call timeout, 30 seconds left. Still down by two touchdowns. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. Kind of what they should have been doing this whole time is throwing it to the sideline instead of throwing a bomb to Katarius Tony in the middle of the field. <laughs> okay. Bryce Allen had a little bit of hand eye coordination. He probably could have picked that off. Wow, Machado. <laughs> Laying the big hit on Knox at the one, but. Still going to get the touchdown. And they'll kick the field goal to make it a seven point game with 12 seconds left. Uh oh, they're going onside. I don't like this. Could they actually tie it? No. Don't know who that white dude is, but he got the recovery. Ten seconds left. Big scoring game here. <laughs> Alright, I'm definitely throwing. Throwing this game away. Not gonna lie, I thought uh, Brees Hall was still behind me for a second. And then I pitched it, and then I realized he wasn't, so... <laughs> Sean Watson, 34 for 51. 439, five touchdowns, two interceptions. Chris Church, 25 for 44, 431. Six touchdowns, two interceptions. Reese Hall, 10 for 42, no touchdowns. Chris Church, 2 for 14. Jedrick Wills, 1 for negative 7 on that pitch. Jesus. Uh, receiving, Hall, 6 for 34 and a touchdown. Jay Jettis, 6 for 104 in a tutty. Redmond, 5 for 77 in a touchdown. John Johnson, 4 for 186 in a touchdown. Winslow, 2 for 12, 2 touchdowns. Corey Scott, 1 for 10. And Blade, 1 for 8. Defensively, half sack for Quentin Williams and Aiden Hutchinson. One interception for Juan Machado and Sauce Gardner. Uh, one forced fumble from Juan Machado and one from Dorian Gilmore. Uh, Dorian Gilmore also with a fumble recovery. Johnny Mann also with a fumble recovery. And Sauce with the one pick six. All right, going up against two and oh, Houston Texans. We have a breakout defensive back. Could it be Dorian Gilmore? Are we going to go back to three X-Factor corners? The world may never know. Mock Draft 1 is out. Take a look here. Sidney Barclay. Jacked to go number one. Um, I'll go over the draft class next week with you guys. Uh, I, did take, I did take a look. It's not horrible, but... We definitely got to look at like linebackers. Lance Cumberland. 
much they have us taken right now. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad class, but for what we need, it's kind of horrible. Like, we need... Yeah, our offense is pretty good. Yeah, we need middle linebacker for sure. And then it says we need left end. We need a couple good guys there, but yeah, we'll go over it a little bit more next episode. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you are new here, make sure you do subscribe. And I'll see you guys next episode against the Texans. Tell them, stay cool. Peace.